lately here since the COVID, logging's been kind of tough. Um, lumber prices have gone up in the mill, but as of now, they have not gone up at the mill. Um, I should say they've gone up in the store, at the retail. So pulp is really, really tough to get hard of. A lot of the big mills have closed and shut down. So finding a market for pulp wood at this time is very rough. Dream big, this boy gonna make it. Stand tall, there's a higher road to take it. Let go of everything that you know and be wild in the misery. I've been in the darkness for 40 days. Searching for holy flames, a sign to light up the way. So, can you help me out? Can you help me out? So, there's been a lot of big changes lately here at Mount Washington. Most notably, you can see it in the front yard. We're missing a few trees now. That has actually extended to the back portion of the property as I'm walking by a brush pile right here. You can start to take in the fact that we've done quite a bit of clearing and thinning, as the logging company would call it, select cutting. That is to say that we leave a lot of the younger, uh, youthful trees and we take out a lot of the older ones that are nearing the end of their life anyways. We've taken a lot of ash trees out. We've taken a lot of oak out. But what we've done is we've left enough in there that new growth is going to be able to sustain itself and actually do better in a thriving format moving forward. It's exciting to get the work underway, but when it comes with the cost of chopping trees down, it makes me really sad. The good news is we've got great ambitions of putting new trees back in in their place. Fruit trees, big flowering trees, beautiful trees. They're gonna occupy a lot of this space that we've already had to take trees out. This was a select operation and we needed to do it for the health of the trees and the property as a whole. Sean is behind me with his dozer. He's gonna be working on taking down this bowl of a tree on the back hill. It is at a goofy angle and it's extremely difficult to get down, but you know, this is why we, we hired professionals to do this. He'll get it figured out, but it is amazing to me the complexities that, that go into making sure these trees fall correctly and without damaging anything else in the property. Let's have a look. the trees we will limb the trees and then we'll cable skid them out with this machine here it's got a 125 foot main line on it with five chokers the chokers go around the tree cinch it tight so we reel it up behind the machine we'll pull them out here and then my worker Sean he will buck them up into eight foot logs and then he will pile them with his skid steer and sort them by either ties bolts or pulp um, for the logging industry, pine has to be separate, hardwood is separate, and then popple is separate, and then hardwood would be considered maple, birch, cherry, elm, box elder, that can all go together. And then we try to separate the oak out as well. We'll sell that to the mill and we'll sell that as firewood. Just start with your name. Sean Koenig, Sean Koenig Logging, LLC. And where are you based out of? Fall Creek, Wisconsin. How long have you been doing it? 20 years. 20 years, logging continuously? Were you all over Wisconsin or? Uh, just in uh, West Central. West Wisconsin, Central? Or, yeah, okay. Eau Claire area, up to Colfax, down to Oliva, Augusta, Menominee, a oh. 30 mile radius. About how many uh, acres was here at Mount Washington? Oh, probably three, four. And so you took about three or four acres worth of it off. How many 
truckloads of what do you think there is? Well, with the pulp we got over there, there's probably five or six. And we got maybe three semi loads of pine four semi loads of ties and two semi loads of bolts that's a lot of wood yeah quite a bit of wood for just that three four acres is that pretty typical to be able to pull that much wood off of three or four acres or um in woods like this yeah, yeah. i mean it's pretty dense yeah in this area you had quite a few trees you know packed in, in a tight area It feels great to get this project underway. We've looked at plans, we've developed plans, we've looked at what the real costs were gonna to be to do this project, but now we've actually started something. Visible, physical, we've actually started the logging process. In the coming weeks, we've got other really great plans with local groups and organizations to do other elements of this project, but we've wanted to stay true to everything, share everything with you, disclose everything. There's nothing to hide here at Mount Washington, and we're glad you came along. I've been in the darkness for 40 days I've been searching for holy flames A sign to light up the way So can you help me out? Can you help me out? Can you help me?